All right, hello. So this is the gases unit, or this is a gas laws uh, quick hem video. Uh, over here on my left-hand side of the screen, I've got my three gas laws. So we've got Boyle's law, which is the inverse relationship between pres pressure and volume. We have Charles law, which is the direct relationship between volume and temperature, and then gay lussiacs law, which is pressure and temperature's direct relationship. So as volume goes down, pressure will go up. It's inverse, they do the opposites. As temperature goes up, volume will also go up. It's a direct relationship. And as temperature goes up, pressure will also go up. That is also a direct relationship. So no specific video on these, but when we're calculating these, we need to be able to pull information from questions and figure out which law we're actually gonna use. So I've got a sample question here. So it says that the temperature of a 56.75 liter container. So this is my first volume. So I'm going to call this V1. That's my starting volume of ammonia is changed from 965K. So this is my initial temperature T1 to 556K. This is the change. This is going to be T2. What is the new volume? So V2 is our question mark. So this is not pressure in volume because I'm looking at temperature. So we know it's not Charles or uh, Boyle's law. There's no pressure again here for gay lussacs law, so we know it's not that one. So I'm using Charles' law to solve this question. Once you have decided which law you are using, now it's a matter of getting variables into the right place and solving your ratio. So V1 over T1. V1 is 56.75 over T1, 965K. All of these need to be in Kelvin before you solve them. So remember to add 273 if this were Celsius. Uh, what is the new volume is the question. So I'm going to call this X. That's what I don't know. And divided by T2, 556. Now, quick mental math or quick relationship. My temperature here goes down. So my volume should also go down. To solve a ratio like this, we can cross multiply. So we're going to say 965X equals 56.75 times 556, 56.75 times 556, we get 31,553, 31, oops, not 33, 31,553, divide by 965, divide that by 965. So this algebra is quite simple compared to moles uh, back in the last unit. So we're going to say x equals 31,553 divided by 965 and we get 32.7. 32.7. This is a volume. Remember, so this is going to be liters. And that's it. So we interpreted our question, picked out our data, decided which law to use, fill in your data, and then you can just solve for x. Hopefully that's helpful. You can find all kinds of these. I put a link to some practice questions in the description. If you want to click on that, you can get some of those. Um, and yeah, hopefully that's helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.